Hello everyone, welcome to version 1.1 of my Uncharted 1 Brutal Difficulty Walkthrough. This will be chapters 1, 2, and 3 because I want to get these chapters done as soon as possible. These chapters are pretty simple, they don't show the game at its worst, and the later chapters are a lot more demanding, so it's better to get rid of the less demanding chapters immediately for this walkthrough. So, if you've seen my Batman Arkham Origins Cold Cold Heart DLC walkthrough, you understand that I mentioned redoing my walkthroughs of the Uncharted series. So currently on my YouTube channel, I have walkthroughs of Brutal Difficulty for Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. And I also have a Crushing Difficulty walkthrough for Uncharted 4. But because I'm the kind of person that likes to remaster my walkthroughs and actually deliver a better performance and a more updated commentary, that's why I opted to do the walkthroughs again, and also because I downloaded Uncharted The Legacy of Thieves collection. So it's basically Uncharted 4 Remastered and Uncharted The Lost Legacy Remastered. And I've been having a blast with Uncharted 4 Remastered. Uncharted 4 Remastered is one of my favorite experiences at the moment, and it's definitely an Uncharted game worth playing. And the updated frame rate, the lack of any load times, that game is so much fun to go through, especially since it complements my real-world job. My real-world job would be pretty boring if I wasn't playing Uncharted 4 alongside it. And because Uncharted 4 has a lot of cutscenes, a lot of great storytelling, a lot of really great combat moments, a lot of great character moments, it's allowed me to pair that experience with my real-world job, so it makes my real-world job a lot more enjoyable. And I was able to put in 8 hours today because of the fact that I was playing that game. And Uncharted 4, in general, is like my favorite Uncharted game. I mean, I wouldn't really consider it my favorite Uncharted game if we were talking about uh, back in the PS4 days, but on PS5, Uncharted 4 is proving to be my favorite Uncharted game. And I was initially reluctant to go back to these walkthroughs of Brutal Difficulty because I don't hate, like Brutal Difficulty at all. Brutal Difficulty is one of the worst difficulty modes I have ever played because it's clear the developers didn't play test the difficulty properly to make sure that it was suitable for the gameplay experience. And even when it does work, you spend most of your time just sitting behind cover waiting for enemies to come to you or just relying upon the most boring strategies ever and it just slows the gameplay to a halt. And, you know, that's another reason why I'm doing these walkthroughs again, because I used terminology that wouldn't be associated with good designs. Like, I kept calling Brutal Difficulty challenging for whatever reason. Like, that's another reason why I want to redo these walkthroughs. It's because I want to actually showcase a bit of evolution from the person I was back when I made those walkthroughs. And as of right now, I can just say that I don't like Brutal Difficulty, and I don't like Uncharted 1 at all. Uncharted 1 is just boring. It is really boring, and Brutal Difficulty makes Uncharted 1 even more boring, and the problems that Uncharted 1 has are just elevated even further because of the shit difficulty design. And I've skipped out on a lot of the downtime moments, but I'm just going to showcase the combat moments. So that right there was not Brutal Difficulty damage. Although sometimes you can take Brutal Difficulty damage, and I don't know why. It's just some really poor calculations on the game's part. The, the game just flip-flops between working when it should and not working when it should. It's just the general problem Uncharted 1 has. Uncharted 1 is the most unpolished Uncharted game because, of course, it's the first game. And Brutal Difficulty, putting in a difficulty mode like that into a game that is more suitable for crushing difficulty, and the game feels so much better to play during crushing difficulty rather than during Brutal Difficulty. I don't know what was going through the developers' minds. And see, the, the thing with the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection is that they didn't introduce some stupid difficulty. They kept crushing difficulty in Uncharted 4 Remastered and Uncharted The Lost Legacy Remastered because they respect the baseline experience. And crushing difficulty is perfectly befitting for the kind of model that Uncharted 4 favors. And also with Uncharted The Lost Legacy. And Crushing Difficulty in general feels like it's perfectly befitting for an Uncharted game. Brutal Difficulty is not built for an Uncharted game, it just isn't. You look at the fundamental gameplay structure of Uncharted, you look at the way the mechanics work, you look at the way the shooting works, you look at the way the set pieces are designed, and it is not complementary to the kind of gameplay modifiers that they added to Brutal Difficulty. And Uncharted 1 is the perfect representation of this. Because the bullshit provided by the game, because of the fact that it just put in Brutal Difficulty arbitrarily. There are just so many moments in Uncharted 1 where the game is supposed to progress in a certain way, but because they haven't adjusted the modifiers correctly for Brutal Difficulty, you die during moments that you normally don't die on in Crushing Difficulty or lower. 
And these are moments where you don't have any control over Nate. You have moments where Nate is in a position where it is physically impossible to get to cover unless you just run the gambit and just hope for good RNG. And that's just what this difficulty is. This difficulty is nothing but RNG. And sometimes it can be skillful, but you only get that with like 10% of the game. And occasionally when you're strategically picking up weapons and like brutal difficulty is a difficulty mode that I need to explain again, even though I did explain it back in my original walkthrough. But brutal difficulty is a difficulty mode where you die very fast. The pistols will kill you very quickly. The assault rifles, not so much because the assault rifles in Uncharted 1 do less damage than the pistols. The pistols are your best friend in this game with actually dealing with most of the enemies. And it takes you roughly two shots from the PM pistol in order to kill you. The AK-47, it takes roughly three shots in order to kill you. And then later on, uh, the enemies will gain access to the M92F, and the M92F, even though it is a normal pistol, it's not some special weapon, it's just a generic pistol, it will kill you instantly on brutal difficulty. And it makes no fucking sense. It makes literally no sense. And it's very poor balancing for no other reason other than, oh, we just wanted to make a challenging experience, you ready to die, this and that? Oh my god, like, these developers didn't understand what a challenging experience is, and I'm just glad I'm saying it in this walkthrough compared to how I was back in my original walkthrough. And even though this is a supposedly challenging experience, it doesn't change the fact that this game is so boring. Like, Brutal Difficulty is just a very boring mode, and you spend more time just waiting. That's it. It's, it's just a waiting game most of the time. It's just a war of attrition, and it's just, it gets so stagnant after a very short time unless you're actually like doing something interesting which is rarely afforded to you because the uncharted games they only offer that level of creativity on the lower difficulties because that's the baseline experience but brutal difficulty isn't built for these kind of games brutal difficulty isn't even built for uncharted 4 yet the developers understood that when they were remastering uncharted 4 and uncharted the lost legacy there are so many set pieces where the enemies they deal a lot of damage to you very quickly and you would never survive it on brutal difficulty and, you know, this is another thing I don't understand about Brutal Difficulty. There are certain situations where the developers display a bit of intelligence with how they design certain enemies, like, for instance, with the turret enemies. The guys in the turrets, when they shoot you, they do not do Brutal Difficulty damage. The turrets will not kill you instantly. They do crushing difficulty damage. That I understand. But then you have set pieces, like in Chapter 7, where you're in that jeep, and the amount of times you get killed instantly... The amount of times where you physically cannot fight back and the enemies are so far away from you that you have no chance of hitting them and they're hitting you very perfectly because of their perfect aim. Why is it that they didn't balance that section out for crushing difficulty? It is literally just pray for good RNG. That is literally it. And it's so fucking bullshit. There's no skill involved with chapter 7. It's pretty much on par with banging your head against the wall until something happens. It's broken designs like that that are just rampant on Brutal Difficulty. Brutal Difficulty is just using the poor designs to justify supposed difficulty. The poor designs are ramped up even more, and no one in their right mind would ever enjoy this difficulty mode unless they're that simple-minded, where they don't understand the whole idea of challenge. They don't understand the whole idea of challenge being in the realm of functionality, not in the realm of poor designs. And I can name a couple of people who don't understand this whole idea very well. But I'm not going to mention them. But enough about this little rant. Right now we're doing some shooting moments. I died a couple of times on these encounters right here. And one thing you'll notice about this game and with the other Uncharted games is that whenever you're low on ammo and you get killed, the game will replenish ammunition for you. And you'll notice a couple of times that I had less than 24 pistol bullets. But when I died, it respawned me with 24 pistol bullets. So the fact that you have to put yourself in positions where you die in order to replenish your ammunition because ammo management isn't handled very well in this game. If that doesn't seem like a red flag for this difficulty mode, I don't know what does. Like, you'd have to be so dense as to think that is serviceable for a difficulty mode. Like, this is not a challenging difficulty mode, it is just a shit fest. And I don't blame anyone if they decide to use unlockables, it almost feels like this difficulty mode was designed for the unlockables in mind. But even if that were the case, there are a lot of moments where the game will just outright kill you just because it wants to kill you. And that right there was just an arbitrary spawn. You have There's going to be a lot of that as well, where you have to arbitrarily uh, script certain spawns to happen by going to a specific position. That will most likely put you in danger, and it's just... 
that old school gaming design that is really getting old. And it's the kind of thing you'll be doing in Ninja Gaiden a lot, for instance. But I just talked over a lot of the combat encounters in these chapters. I'll go into better detail in Chapter 4, because Chapter 4 is where things ramp up a lot more, and it's where uh, the gameplay definitely starts to show diminished quality. So stay tuned for the future parts. Thank you all for watching, and you take care now.